going on everybody this is the triangle button today we're going to continue to play mafia 2 the definitive edition uh yeah we're on the chapter 4 already and i'm super excited to see what's been hap like you know what's going to happen um yeah so without further ado i hope you all have a great day and if you want to support the channel in any way you know you can leave a like comment and subscribe you know show your support for the channel it takes me a while to make these videos as well as you know, to make the thumbnails as well. Like, I put a lot of effort because it's from Microsoft Word. So, you know, it just takes a minute of your time. You don't need to like it. You know, you don't even need to watch it for long. As long as you just take the little time of your day just to, to subscribe, that'd be amazing. Other than that, let's get to it. Okay, meet Joe at Freddy's with a gun and lockpicks. Alright, let's get something... The renegade pack. Sure, we'll, we'll do this. Sure. Okay, so now we gotta basically go get the lock picks and stuff, and yeah. There's not really much to that. It's just kind of, you know, we just gotta go over there. All right. Move out of my way. Oh my god. Chill out, Vito. We don't need to be that hectic and try to hit people. Oh yeah, we're taking this, baby. Probably not the best truck for the snow. You've been laying around in bed all day. Hey, I'm entitled to a little rest after that last job, don't you think? What can I get you, sir? Coffee. Just for now. But when Alberto hears about this, the shit is gonna hit the fan. Believe you me. So, uh, I heard you didn't score too big last night. Well, it wasn't exactly my fault. Shit happens. All right, come on, relax, fellas. It's a high risk business. If you don't like it, you can always go break your back working for peanuts down at the docks. Sorry, Henry, I was just breaking balls, you know. Uh, so how about tonight? We still on for what we oh, talked about much? yesterday? We'll see you in a minute. That is too fucking much, too fucking many. I want my money! What? You think I'm running some kind of fucking charity here? Uh, Do it. Huh? Now! Who was that? Somebody you don't need to know right now. All right, listen up. There's a guy who owes the boss some money. He borrowed it to open some big jewelry store. He's not paying it back fast enough. We're going to collect his payment tonight in jewels. Plus, uh, a little extra for our trouble. Joe, fill him in. The jewelry store's in the shopping mall in the middle of town. There's no guards at night. So all we gotta do is pick the lock and waltz right in. Sounds a little too simple. Because it is simple. Why's everything gotta be so fucking complicated yeah. with you? Says the guy who can barely change a light bulb. Look, don't worry. I thought of everything. I got these phone company uniforms so we can pretend to be fixers. So. Fair enough. Let's go. All right. We're gonna rob this fuck blind. All we gotta do is wait until dark. Six hours later. Okay. Hey, so how'd it go with the port? What, you mean with Eric? Yeah, hey, he's a piece of work, ain't he? Give you a job? Yeah. I worked some guys off. It was small time crap. He shakes down these hard-up dock workers just like he did my old man. He didn't have to do it. It's not like he forced you to work for him, is it? My mother almost did. We're whining in and keep in touch with Derek. Trust me. He's got better jobs than shaking down wolf rats. Ah, what the fuck are you doing? I'm What's just driving. It's icy. in a 
reversion to red lights? It's fine. No one's gonna capture me for that. Jewelry star. Ah, oh, damn it. Man, I love this like pick locking, what's it called, mini game. What the hell is this? Come on, boys. The cops will be here any minute. Move it! Ryan fucking O'Neill? What the fuck is this? You crazy bastard, what the fuck are you doing? Barbaro, what the hell are you doing here, you fuck? <laughs> You're a little late, Chief. There's nothing left here fuck for you. Fuck off, fatso. This is our heist. You want to get out of here in one piece, you better hand yeah, over yeah, everything yeah. you've well, got. Well, the sign outside didn't say Brian O'Neill's place. If it did, I wouldn't have robbed it. Instead, I would have set it on fire. reported at the West Side Mall. Repeat, 1031. Burglary this in progress. This is 54. We're on it. And I suggest you get lost before the cops show up. Ah, fuck! Kiss my get ass. Fuck out of Oh boy. You gotta get the fuck out of here. What the hell are you waiting for? Get him, lads! Brian, what about the cops? Come on, let's get out of here! I'm trying! Shit, cops! Okay. Hey Vito, I got it open! Come on! Oh, you got it open, okay. When I open this door, keep those assholes off my back. Almost got it. Hold them off, just a little long. Come on, you piece of shit. Open up. Got okay, it. got it. We're out of here. Vito, come on. Go back. Breathe. Gotta find Police. another way out. There's no way out. Yes, there is. Okay, um. I got it, Vito. Shit, another dead end. <clears throat> Whoa. And okay, now we're good. God we damn. Got Crazy, it's covered in ice. One slip and we're dead. We have no choice. I ain't going to the joint. Fuck. Okay, he thought he was good. Okay. Okay, hold on here. Oh my god! I don't know where that guy came from. Get your ass over here! You waiting for a formal fucking invitation? Over there! Shoot! Shit. Jesus, be careful! Almost lost you there. Yeah, I think I just shipped myself. Where'd they go? They must have gone this way, Sarge. Oh, fuck that. I don't get paid enough for this. <laughs> this way. This should take us to the street. Hey, we got this. We got this. Uh-oh. Shit! Cops! From where? Oh. Freeze! Police! There's no way out!
Woo! Got that expert shooting shot. All right, now let's keep going. Almost got it. Hold him off just a little longer. Just give me one second. Hey, fuck nuts. What's the hold up? I'm going. I got one bullet left. Henry's never gonna believe this. This stupid bastards. Let's go. I can barely see what's going on here because of the way it's framed here. Fuck off, copper! I didn't do nothing! <laughs> 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 Look at the Irish my heads. <laughs> Who the hell was that? Brian O'Neill. Crazy Mick Bastard. Not too bright. Usually works as high in muscle. <sighs> yeah, I didn't think he was the brains of the operation. Shit, the cops. Come on, get out of the light. Let's go! Come on, come on, come on! Don't worry. Give me a bag. I'll go ditch the goods. All right, pal. Meet you back home. Try not to get pinched on the way there. I'll try my best. I mean, hey, anything can happen. And I'm not gonna act like it can't. I'm just gonna. Gorgeous. We're just gonna go right down here. There we go. And now we head back home. Suspect is about six feet tall, dark hair, medium build. Oh my god, four stars. Roger that. <laughs> Man, this soundtrack. Perfect timing. All units, code green. Back to the station. Whew. Almost bad. There we go. Chapter 5 The Bus Joe's apartment, February 20th, 1945 Hey there, handsome Uh, hi there Joe ain't here right now He said for you to meet him for lunch at Freddy's I see Too bad you were passed out when I came in We could have partied Hmm, maybe next time, doll Bye Huh. That was something. There we go. Oh, 
here we go. Rum and Coca Cola. Fuck you, stupid broad! But Get the I... hell back here! If you can't drive, you should stay home where you belong! Hey, isn't that Joe's girl over there? Well, one of them anyway. You smacked up my car, I'm gonna smack up yours. Look at my fucking car! Hey, pal, knock it off. And who the fuck are you? Somebody who doesn't like hearing you talk to a lady like that. So why don't you shut the fuck up and leave while I'm still in a good mood, huh? What, is she your girlfriend or something? Well, if she's not gonna pay for it, you will. One more word, and you're gonna need a new set of teeth. Now get the fuck out of here. I... That was the word. Oh my god. Boom. Thanks, handsome. I owe you one. Do you want to come over to my place for a piece of pie? Yeah, thanks, but, uh, look, I, I, I really gotta get going. Mmm, you'll like it, I promise. I gotta get going now. I'll see you around. Hey, fellas. Hey! Hey, Vito, this is Luca Garino. He'd like to talk to you and Joe. Luca, this is Vito. Good to meet you, Mr. Garino. No need to be so formal. Call me Luca. Take a seat, Vito. What can I get you? Same thing I'm having. And hurry it up. I heard about you running with the mix. <laughs> Great fucking story. <laughs> and I want to congratulate you, too, on a job well done. Salute. A salute. You guys did a hell of a job. Not too many guys got the stomach for this line of work. So now, uh... I'm wondering if yous are ready to take the next step. Yeah, sure, uh... What next step? I'm talking about taking somebody out. Just cause someone points his finger at him and tells you to do it. I was in the war, Mr. Garino. All I did was kill people I was told to kill. People the president pointed his finger at. <laughs> <laughs> That's good. The president. Yeah, I like that. <laughs> but you're, uh, you're talking about the crowds, right? You know, the bad guys. That's not what I mean. Understand? Yeah, I understand. Good. We need guys like you. Guys who can follow orders without asking questions. You handle this next job like you handled the last one, and there's a good chance you'll be accepted into the family. After you pay the initiation fee, of course. And how much is that? Five grand a piece. That's a fucking fortune. Hey, nobody said it was cheap, huh? But trust me. The benefits far outweigh the cost. I'll leave it up to you two to decide. Henry's gonna fill you in on the rest. I'll see his guys there later. There you are. Hey, you boss. You take care of that thing we talked about yet? Yeah, yeah, it's all under control. That's Henry's what you said at. the last time. 
Don't disappoint me again. Boss, Don't. I, I, uh... Now come with me. We got some other business to discuss. So, Henry, what kind of job are we talking about here? I gotta take a guy out. It's my contract, but Thanks. I need some help. That's where you two come in. Who's the lucky guy? Some fat fuck from across the river. The guy's been warned, but he thinks he's untouchable. Huh. And is he? Well, somebody tried to take him out once before. And? Let's just say they slightly underestimated him. How much is slightly? Fatally. That's a fancy way of saying they're dead, right? Hey, they fucked up. We won't. I rented an apartment across the street from his business. We'll sit there, and we'll wait till that fat fuck shows up, and then BOOM! We blast his ass. How are we gonna do that? With an MG-42. Uh... Where are we getting an MG-42 from? Harry. Yeah. He's a vet, like you. He's got a private little gun shop over in Kingston. You can get your anything from a pea shooter to a bazooka. And you don't need no fucking gun license, neither. Okay, Joe and me will go to the apartment. You go pick up the machine gun at Harry shop in Kingston. It's all paid for. Just tell him I sent you. After that, meet us at the apartment. It's in Sand Island. The building across from the distillery. Apartment 233. Okay, apartment 233. Got it. I'll meet you fellas there in a bit. All right, I'll see you later. Good luck, pal. Alrighty, well, here we go. See you later. I'll see you later, pal. Don't you whoop. Like it's not the guy on the radio. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Hit the jump. Boom. Listen, I can see. You know, I'm gonna have to give you a fine for this. Sure. Give me the fine, buddy. All right, money well spent. All right, I don't want to see your face again. Tomasino sent me to pick up the stuff he ordered. All right, come in. Hello? So, uh, you're the guy Henry was telling me about, huh? Yeah, you got his merchandise. <laughs> yeah, well, here it is. MG-42, 
Made in Germany. Hitler's buzzsaw, we call them. She's a beauty. 25 pounds. 7.92 caliber. 1,200 rounds per minute. Fastest in the world. 250 round belt. Three quarters of a mile effective range and extremely reliable. I don't know what the hell you're hunting, but unless it's in a fucking tank, sayonara, baby. Hey. You need me to show you how to use it? No, thanks. I'm familiar with him. I was in the service, too. No shit! Wait, wait are you kidding me? Where, where were you? What was it, Normandy, huh? No, no, Africa? All right, let me guess. Uh, Operation Husky. Yeah? What unit were you in? 504th Parachute. No shit, you were a paratrooper? That was kind of hairy, I heard. Yeah, well, it wasn't no picnic, I tell you. I got hit, so they sent me home. Yeah, any medals? Yeah, Purple Heart and the DSC. Whoa, wait, wait, you got a cross? Let me tell you, they don't give those babies out for nothing. I was in Normandy. We hit Utah Beach. Yeah, that wasn't no picnic neither, but... When I was crawling over the fence on the way back, I, I poked my eye out on a fucking tree branch. <laughs> well, hey, it was good enough for a discharge. Uh, look, I, I really gotta get going. All right. Hey, by the way, I'm Harry. Hey, Vito. Hey, good to meet you, Vito. Real good. If you ever need some hardware, you know where to find me. Yeah. There you go. I hope you drove here. She's a big girl. <laughs> good luck. Hey, thanks. Nice to meet you, Harry. The gun's in the crate, and there's a couple thousand rounds in the van out in the yard. Take it. It's all paid for. Sounds good. Boom, ba. Vito, I'll see you soon. Sounds good, man. War department. Danger, no smoking. Don't worry. Wish I could go a little bit faster. This is like the first mission where you had to like load shit like off of the truck. Here we go. That was going to be a lot worse. What a turn. Apartment 233 Misery Lane. Two hours later.
Where are you from, Henry? Sicily. What brought you to the States? Mussolini. Yeah, we buy you a ticket. Don't be a smart ass, Joe. My father was a, a man of honor. And things got pretty bad for us after Mussolini came into power. My old man figured I'd either get drafted or locked up. So he sent me to America and got me a job working for Pimenti. So what happened to your father? He said he was too old to make the trip. Mussolini had him arrested, and he died in jail. They won't even turn his body over for a proper burial. That's rough. So how's your English so good? They're coming! Those black cars! Vito, aim for the fat bastard. We gotta nail him before he gets in the building. Get ready. All right, I'm on. They got All right, guns. showtime. They got guns up there in that They got guns. That's him, Vito. Whip off. You got them all. Stop shooting that fucking See, I don't know if this is where we left off. Here. But we're going to find out. to get away all right just gotta collect some ammo okay you first Vito you're the fucking war hero go go we'll cover you yeah one second all right here we go we're okay, coming we go. for you porky To watch out, but I'm like, you know, I'm going to waste that platform. We got them all. Stop shooting that fucking thing. I'm going deaf over here. Okay, well, we got to make sure they're killing my man. I wish there was a better running button. Okay, you first, Vito. You're the fucking war hero. Go, go, we'll cover you. We're coming for you, Porky. You're telling me that guy didn't die? Oh, 
fuck! Watch out! Shit. What the fuck is that? Come on. God damn it, now this whole fucking place is gonna burn to the ground. What a waste of wounds. Vito. I got the button. I'm ready. What the hell are you doing, Joe? What? Thirsty. Pretty good stuff. We should try it. Drinking on the job, huh? We don't Who'd drink on the job. Shit? Come on. Where do you think you are? Here they come! They got commies. Shit, there's an army of them. Vito, Joe, do something. We can't just fucking sit here. What the fuck do you expect me to do? They're shooting at me for Christ's sakes. Vito, do something. You're the expert I'm doing here. Something here. Just give it a second. He has to turn. Uh. Boom. Sniper. Come on, Porky's upstairs! Listen, this is how I died the other time. I like ran up the stairs without even looking. <laughs> Don't kill me! Please! I got a wife! You should have thought about your wife before. I was doing it in your wife! Just don't kill me! Oh my God! Don Clemente sends his regards. Oh! Fuck! <laughs> no. Oh, fuck you! Oh, Sorry you was... <laughs> Henry, you okay? Right. Where'd he hit? Of course I'm not fucking okay. He shot me in the fucking leg. Oh God. Oh yeah, it's bleeding all over. Son of a fucking weapon. Get me to El Greco. The fucking painter? No, the fucking doctor. Okay, okay, you idiot. Easy. I'm gonna get you there in a minute. The Greek guy lives up in Highbrook. Right, let's get you to the car. Oh, come oh, on, you're heavier than you look. You should have been a little quicker, man. You can't just be like. Fat fuck. What's it called? I'm gonna shut my balls off. Take it easy, he missed him by a mile. Like, you can't just be like, oh, he sends his regards and take forever to, like, do the bullet. You gotta be quicker than that. Hey, careful! No, please! It hurts. I don't want to Yeah, die. well, you can walk if you don't quit your moaning. 
God damn it, I know it. This is my 13th contract. It's a fucking jinx. <laughs> <laughs> I think it got to be a lot worse. Ah, oh, fuck. And luckily, they got a wheelman on their side. On um, me. If I don't make it. Hey, don't go say that, pal. It's just a scratch. Doc will give you a few stitches, then we'll all go out and celebrate. No, really. Shh. You shouldn't talk right now. Helps conserve your strength. I've seen that in a movie once. Yeah. In pursuit of our suspect, we're taking him down. Why? Roger that. Why will they shoot me on sight? How do they know it's me? Uh oh. Jesus, you drive like my fucking grandmother. Well, your grandmother. Is she a bad driver necessarily? <clears throat> That's something they consider. But I don't think she is. I think it's a matter of intention. I'm going as fast as I can. As I can, damn it. Well, it ain't fast enough. Just relax, would you? I got a hole in my leg the size of a fucking golf ball. You're telling me to relax? Just get me down, Greco, damn it. Oh, he's parked on the steps. We're good now. Don't worry, they won't follow us. They can't park on us. They can't. Who is this guy? What guy? This guy, we're taking Henry. A Greco? He's a doctor. Throw him a couple of bucks, he patches you up. No questions asked. He's the guy you go see when you can't go to the hospital, genius. Why the hell wouldn't you be able to go to the hospital? Because you go to the hospital with a bullet in you, first thing they do is call the cops. Yeah. yeah. So El Greco deals with a lot of guys in our line of work. You shouldn't need to visit him, though, Vito. You've always been a quick healer. You must be a diet. Here we go, here we go, here we go, here we go. Oh boy. Oh boy. Hey Henry, you are awake. Stay with me now. Yeah. Just hang in there, pal. We'll be that at El in though. a minute. I can smell the souvlaki from here. Yeah.
You are Greco the doctor? No. I'm the fucking painter. A friend needs help, or he's gonna bleed to death. Thanks, Doc. Good God, Henry! We owe you one. Get him inside. Hello, though. Wait. I got money for you. For the job. Take it. You know, this could've waited. But thanks. And hey, thanks for everything. Hope you'll be okay. Yeah. Me too. I'll <laughs> stay here with him. Meet me in my place. <clears throat> Alright. Alright, there we go. Two thousand dollars? I could buy a new car with that. I probably should with the state of condition mine is in. Transmissions on the ground? Vito, hey, how you doing? Shh, no, 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 no. I just wanted to give you the money to pay off Papa's debt. Oh, Vito, that's great. I was gonna try and see if we could pay it back in installments. I got a little money. He wouldn't have hurt us. Don't be so sure. But it doesn't matter now. Here, take Where'd it. you get all this money, Vito? You haven't done nothing you'll be sorry for, have hey, you? Don't worry. Everything's fine. Thank you, Vito. Thank no you. No problem. Alright, look, I better be going. I, I don't want Ma to see me. She'll be asking where I got the money, too. Don't worry. I'll make something up. Alright. Give her a big kiss from I me, will. okay? Take care of yourself, Vito. Alrighty. Well, so much for my $2,000. Here, I'm like, yo, I could get, like, a new car with that. Just cause, it's cute, like, a, my fucking rag thing. Uh. Maybe I'll take it to the shop. <laughs> How can I help you? Um, uh, well, I need a lot of things done. No, it doesn't look like I got enough for it. Let's repair the car. Basic tuning. Pick Paint a it. color. Any color. Ooh, I do like that. That's beautiful. Hold on, hold on. Let me get that. That burgundy is just nice. All right, now the second. Oh! Let's see what else we got here, though. If we have like a nice black, though. Hold on. Fresh. Alright, we're gonna keep doing that. Now we gotta Your change license the place. <laughs> For you, no problem. Uh, hold on, that's my current plate. There we go. Be done in a jiffy. Alright. 
Change hey, rims. You looking for a new set of wheels? Take your pick, pal. Top speeds. All right, I think we're good. Thanks a lot. Oh, thank you, sir. This is a good car. Now we just gotta be careful not to get caught by the cops again. There we go. Hold on, that was too many stairs up. There we go, the next chapter. Good spirits. Oh my god, chapter six, man, we're just going through. Time well spent. Little Italy. Oh, I'm excited. Hey, that's the same suit I got. Where the hell's my suit? Vito Scaletta? Yeah? What's it to you? You're under arrest for the illegal distribution of federal ration stamps. You're coming with us. One of the gas station attendants ratted me out. The guy fingered me and they strung our mama into telling them where I was staying. But they had no idea who I was working for and I wasn't about to tell them. Well good. That might be a test of your faith to the Mafia. Henry was able to get me a lawyer courtesy of his boss Clementi. I was up Shit's Creek but at least I had a battle. Could have been a hell of a lot worse if the feds knew and about I any of my other activities. To be even more serious. Considering the fact that you stole national resources at a time when our country needs them the most. And that's the gravity of which you, Mr. Scaletta. The guy was good, but even he couldn't get me out of this one. It was a lost cause from day one. Three months later, they handed down the verdict. Vittorio Antonio Scaletta. For your crimes against the people of this city and of this great country. This court hereby sentences you to 10 years in a federal years. penitentiary. Murderers, child molesters, they are all here. The worst of the worst. All right, get in line, gentlemen. Follow me, single file. And no monkey business, or else. Okay.
problems, you son of a bitch? Uh, I'm sorry. What's the matter? No can't. speaking to English? Here, let me teach you. What do you enjoy this, you sick fuck? Now, get your ass up and get no. back in line. <laughs> no. Whoa. Hey, smartass, don't make me repeat myself. Back in line. Listen up, assholes. My name is Captain Terran Stone, and this is my prison. You're here on the inside because you can't behave like normal human beings on the outside. Make no mistake. Your ass belongs to me now, and you'll do what I say, or you'll be sorry that you did it! Fuck with me, and I'll fuck with your sorry ass all day long! You were sent here to be rehabilitated? and rehabilitate you, we will. Okay, you assholes. We're gonna cut you loose just long enough to get you cleaned up. Now get in line and follow me. All right. Welcome to the salon, ladies. You're gonna look just fucking beautiful. Hey, me too? I ain't got nothing on my head to cut. Shut your face, cue ball. All right. Okay, let's go. Hey, shit for brains. Do what you fucking told. I'm doing what I'm doing. Ten years for federal stamps seems pretty like ridiculous. Listen, you ain't gonna do what you told. Let me know if you guys agree. Hole. Follow me. This was gonna be my new home for the next 10 years. Look like shit and smell like piss. I would've preferred dodging bullets in Europe to this. I mean, you're not wrong. Three days later, are we expected to break out? Be After reunited three action-packed days car? of staring at the wall, I got a message from Joe to contact a guy named Leo Galante, who could supposedly help me out in here. This wasn't the kind of place where you could survive on your own. Well, let's find him. Contact Leo Galanti. How? Where the fuck is he? So how many years then? I'm too good with Let's do it! Come on, man! Uh, they don't seem too friendly. That seems to be kind of racist. Galante. I got nothing to say to you. Uh -uh. He's in the hall. At the end? Yep. Uh, what do you do this time? Too friendly. The usual. Told Stone to go and hey. fuck himself. I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Yo, why don't you shut the fuck up and get stepping? Excuse me, you know where Leo Galante is? Sorry, don't know the guy. He seems pretty polite. I'm looking for Leo Gay. Hey, eh, I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Hey, buddy, beat it. I'm looking for Leo Galante. Hey, buddy, beat it. Uh, hey, um, I'm looking for uh, Leo Galante. You know where I can find him? Get out of my face! Man, it's really hard to find people. Hey, 
I need to talk to Leo Galante. Point him out, will you? Yeah, yeah. Old guy. Plays chess all day. 1,875. You ain't never gonna beat my shit. Why are you even trying? The usual. The war. What? We didn't make you do I know you. You're that fucking guinea who was with Barbara in the jewelry store. I'm in this fucking hellhole because of you. You got locked up because you're a stupid, crazy fuck. <laughs> I don't want to kick fellas, your ass, buddy. My ma was right. There is a god! <laughs> and he sent you here, you guinea bastard. So that I could pay you back! God damn! This looks interesting. Want to make a small bet? I'm gonna break you, Dago. Come on! Oh God! Come on! Damn! Come on! 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 Oh, right. That's what. I was like, why is he hitting? And I'm like, because I'm in the wrong button. Step back. Okay, Did you hear me? I didn't even lay a punch in. Move it. I never got a punch in because I was hitting square instead of circle. Think about what you've done. Close it up. I'd be the asshole if you had like, is that all you got? Just to piss him off. So O'Neill almost took my head off, but I made a stand. And let me tell you something, when you're inside, it counts for a lot more than you might think. Two days later. How long are you planning on keeping him in here? Long enough to learn his lesson. That's gonna have to change. He in any shape to fight. Should be. Boys didn't knock him around too bad after the brawl in the yard. All right, open it up. Rise and shine, Scaletta. You got yourself a visitor. My name is Leo Galante. I heard you wanted to speak to me. Yeah. Uh, one of Clemente's guys said I should contact you. Said maybe you could help me out. Oh, fuck Clemente. I don't provide protection for his guys in here. But I saw how you handled that Mick who's after you, O'Neill. He could prove useful. Come with me, boy. <clears throat> now listen up, fellas. This is Vito. He's gonna be helping us out. Peppy here's got a big fight coming up against O'Neill. He needs a sparring partner. And from what I saw of you out there in the yard, you're just the man for the job. You're gonna help us out, kid. In return, you'll be under my protection. And who knows, maybe you'll even learn a thing or two along the way. I guess I can't say no to that offer, huh? I don't remember asking. All right, fellas. Let's get this show on the road. All right. Let's battle. Okay. Today we're going to work on your counterpunching. Rito, I want you to hit Pepe. Try and bust that big jaw of his. Pepe, you avoid the punch like I showed you. Then use that momentum to throw a punch of your own. All right, fellas, let's get going. Sure. That a boy, Pepe. Oh. Keep that oversized chin of yours down, damn it. Come on. Oh. It's good. Whoa! Would you look at that? Hey, we supposed to be sparring or training? Change of plans, big fella. This kid's got fire in him. So now you're both gonna practice your counter punches. All right, Vito. See if you can do that again. It's yeah. a handy tool to have in the box, huh? Most guys ain't gonna see it coming. Pepe here, <laughs> he ain't most guys, though. I can destroy Pepe, don't you worry. Nice, kid, nice. nice. Give me two more. Oh, All right, one more, shit. Vito. Shit, that had to hurt. There you go. You're a fast learner, kid. All right, fellas, that's enough for today. Nice work. Okay. 
So how close did you get to Clemente, Vito? Actually, I never met him. I always dealt with either Henry Tomasino or Luca Garino. Huh. I can't believe that cocksucker Garino's still breathing. What was your deal with him? Well, you know, we did a couple jobs for him, and, uh... Luca said he'd bring us into the family for, uh, five grand. What? Typical fucking Alberto. He's always been a crooked bastard. Uh... So what is that, like, more than usual? Yeah, like five grand more than usual. You don't gotta pay to get in, Vito. You're brought into the family once you prove that you're loyal, a good earner. And he can handle... Well, you know, the life. In any case, this is an interesting piece of news. When this gets out, Alberto and Luca are gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? Jeez. Don't worry about that. We'll talk about it some other time. All right. Hell of a job with that asshole O'Neal. Nice. Next time, do us all a favor and snap the prick's neck, would you? Sure. Nice work in the ring, buddy. A little more of that and you'll be ready for a real fight. Hey, how's it going? How you doing, Vito? Name's Sal. Hey, nice work oh, in the ring. Give me another 20. How's old man Galanti know so much about boxing? Yeah, that's Never it. Never know by looking at him now, but he was a prize fighter back in the day. Damn good one, too. Watch where you walk, Guaylo. Maybe if your eyes were all the way open, you would have seen me coming, asshole. Oh. Galante, crooked white devil. Nice to see you too, Mr. Wu. Crooked? You bet on your own guy and he lost. That's the way it works in this country. Then Wu offer you a rematch. I think I can arrange that. You up to it, Vito? Chinaman, huh? Yeah, get him a stepladder and send him over. All right, Wu. Looks like you got yourself God, a rematch. Hell. And none of that chop suey crap this time. Now listen, these chinks are quick little bastards. No point in throwing big punches early on. You'll never connect. All right. What am I supposed to do then? Dodge you hit him quick, quick punch. and tire him out. When he's weak, he'll put his guard down. Then you swing for the fences. Now get out there and show him what you're made of. Let's go, buddy. Hey, does Vito get a fortune cookie after eating your guy for breakfast? <laughs> Hit the bell. Come on. Come on. His master will not be happy. Ah, yeah, this no happen if you use tiger style. If we use tiger style. <laughs> well, that was quick. Let's go, Scaletta. You're late for work. Okay. You know, now I'm thinking about it, I guess, like, the severity of his crime was pretty huge, because he not only, like, stole those stamps, but, like, he broke into a federal building to steal them. Hey, listen. Vito here's got the day off, courtesy of Mr. Galante. Gotcha. Don't get used to it, Scaletta. All right. Come with me, Vito. What, are we gonna train some more? Uh, sorta. You'll see. Morning, kid. Morning, Mr. Galante. Why no training today? Not exactly. We got a challenge from the spooks, and I don't want to risk Peppy getting all banged up before his big fight with O'Neill. So I want you to take this one. It'll be good practice for you. Come on. All right. Now, the guy you're going to be fighting is a strong bastard, but he ain't too bright. Fights with his heart, not his head. You piss him off, you lower his guard. That's when you let him have it. All right, here we go. Make me proud, kid. Ooh, looky here. 
I'ma take this skinny ass white boy to school. Gonna hit him so hard his mama's mama gonna feel it. Hope okay. you meatballs getting ready to lose. Oh, come, come on, on my you grandma little baby. Be hotter than that. You hit like my hey, sister. Win or lose, it'll probably be the ah. hottest work this bum ever did. My mother life. hits harder than that. <laughs> come on, buddy. Laying down on the job on. like always. Your ah. little cracker going down. Ah. Man, who taught his brother how to fight? No, Brandon, it's all right. Now put his life. Here we go. Boom. Finish him. Put these bombs back in their place. Wow, that was a damn good fight. Hell of a job, kid. Hell of a job. Here's your cut, Vito. You earned it. Yo, one of the hacks is coming. What the hell is this? Some kind of circle jerk? All right, come on, Scaletta. You got a visitor. Hi, Vito. Hey, Frankie. How you doing? I'm doing good. Real good. Thanks. So, uh, how's things? Well, I, I got something to tell you. I'm getting married, Vito. Oh, Maron, that's great. I mean, it would have been nice if he asked my permission first, but... Hey, I'm happy for you. Vito, you're in jail. Look at yourself. Uh, how'd you let this happen? Hey, I already got a lecture from the judge, huh? I don't need another one. Just... Just drop it, alright? Vito, there's something else. It's Mama. What do you mean? What about her? She's sick, Vito. She's been like this for weeks and she's not getting any better. Look, Frankie. Go to Joe's. He's holding on to my money for me. You get her the best doctor you can find. And, uh... You keep the rest as a wedding gift. Vito. No, no, I mean it. Looks like I'm not gonna need it for a while. All right, looks like I gotta go. Uh, look, you take care of Ma. Tell her I love her. I will. And thanks, Vito. Bye. One week later. Let's go, Stiletta. Those turlets ain't gonna clean themselves. I wonder if like the real game starts after you get out of prison. You know, so you're like actually like more hardened, and you're like an act you know, uh trained criminal you've been in the prison you're tough and hardened up and then you're ready for the real mafia whereas this was like a little trial version like you got your you dipped your toes into the water a little bit you know and now you're about to really start so you're the new cleaning lady huh follow me hey pal you mind yo practice that shit someplace else Jesus, you're singing is the second there worst you thing go. to happen to me Make them sparkle and hurry it up. Hey, pipe down now. All of us. Relax, fellas. Just give the old pipes and work them. Uh, this takes forever. What's the matter? Keep cleaning, or else. Hey, looks like this one's still dirty. Clean it again. All right, that's enough. 
Now you're gonna go join the rest of the animals in the showers. All right, Skeletta. Get, get your clothes off and get cleaned up, would you kindly? Sure. What's the hold up here? Move your asses. Hey, Frankie. We got a little business to take care of here, huh? Why don't you go have a smoke? <laughs> yes, yeah, sure. Have your fun, you sick bastards. Oh, boy. Mm, I like your scars, pretty boy. Where'd you get them? Sorry, asshole. You picked the wrong ass to drill. We can do this the easy way, or the hard way. Your choice. I got a better idea. Why don't you go fuck your buddies instead? Or better yet, go fuck yourself. Okay. I guess you want it rough. Alright. <laughs> it's party time. Let's dance, sweetheart. My mother hits harder than that. Okay, here we go. Do that again, oh. sweet cheeks. Why do you sound like a 50 year old smoker pedophile? There we go. Come on, buddy. Let's see what you got. He has a weird body, too. This could have been so much easier. Oh! oh. Come on, take him down. Come on. Ah. Boom! How the prison work? Don, boy, you know the drill. Oh, and uh, this came today. Might want to read it. Looks important. died while Francesca was visiting me. Instead of going toward a good doctor and a wedding gift, every penny I had went to the funeral. Oh, boy. Mr. Galante wants to talk to you. Come with me. Good to have you back, kid. What the hell happened? It looks like the mix weren't up for a fair fight. A couple of them jumped Pepe yesterday. It was a lot more than a couple. Yeah, well, we sure as hell ain't gonna let this go. What do you got in mind? Pepe's got it all worked out. Took a little persuading, but O'Neill's all by himself right now in the gym. Guards won't be back for a while. You're just gonna give him a good beating, break a couple of bones, same as they did to me. Got it? Yeah, I got it. All right, come with me. Break a leg, kid. I'll wait out here. If the guards get back early, I'll warn you. Okay. All right, go for it. Hey, O'Neill. I got a little business to settle with you. Just the man I wanted to see. I'm gonna kick this fucker's Come ass. Come here, Mary! I don't think so. Again, harder! Go. 
No guards to save you this time. Come nice on, shot, Mary. Oh. Me ma used to hit harder than that. Ah. Is that all you've got? Come on. This time I'll finish you. No, buddy. Oh my god. Jesus, what the fuck are you made of? Oh, you'll have to do better than that, little girl. Yo, I'm fucking ready, buddy. Don't you worry. Duh. Oh, you asshole. You're fucking right. So much for broken bones. Just fine. They never found out who did it. What the fuck kind of Leo arranged for me to relocate to his cell? Well, actually, it was more like a suite. Life was getting better by the minute. So, Vito, what do you plan on doing when you get out of this shithole? I don't know. I sure as hell ain't gonna go back to work on for Clemente. I can tell you that. Yeah, you're better off just forgetting about that old bastard. Trust me, Alberto's a real cocksucker, and you can bet that lawyer he's hired was just there to make sure you didn't rot. But don't worry, you'll get his. Letting guys into your family for money like he offered you is against the rules. He's gonna have a lot of explaining to do. To who? I thought Clemente was the boss. You obviously don't know how things work around here. You see, there's more than one family in Empire Bay. There's three. Each family controls their own neighborhoods. There's a system of rules. And if there's any disagreements, the bosses of all the families meet to work things out. That's the commission. Great, so what do I do now? Am I in trouble too? No, 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 no. nothing like that. You're young, you're smart, and you've proven you can keep your mouth shut. You're exactly the type of guy everybody wants working for him. Yeah, but I don't even know who these other guys are. There's two other bosses besides Clemente. One is Carlo Falcone. Mm. The other is Frank Vinci. Carlo is young and ambitious. The guy's a freaking nut job. He's new blood. Whereas Don Vinci is a man of honor. He respects the old ways. You know these guys? <laughs> you could say that. And Frank Vinci is consigliere. You think being just a regular old man gets you all this? But listen, Vito. I'm getting out in a few months. When I do, you'll see what we can do about adjusting your sentence. Pepe, come here. Have a taste. <laughs> well, let's fucking go. So what I mean, he needed to be more seasoned in the jail, and then he's gonna get into the real mafia, not just like this crappy-ass mob family that's Pays 5000 per person. Like, what kind of fucking thing is that? They just let you in. Like, you have to prove yourself, sure. Oh, in a loving memory of Francesco Potenza. Empire Bay. Press F to pay respects. Galante wasn't lying. He called in a few favors and arranged for me to get out early. Knocked almost four years off my sentence. Now, Joe used to come visit me and, you know, kind of fill me in on what was happening on the outside. But I tell you, as soon as I walked out of that prison gate, it was like a whole new world. Oh, wow, this is really a new world. Ah! This is a nice car, but so is that one. I think I'm gonna go for this one. Possible Grand Theft Auto. 10 4. Vehicle theft in progress. In pursuit of suspect. Roger that. Sorry, buddy. See 
Pair this one up, and then this will be the new one. Something I can do for you? See you later. Okay, I don't have cash. I forgot that I have nothing. Today, is it from the extra lead in the water? No. More than likely, it's from the liquid toad. The entire day musical act popular with tea. Released a new record album today, and all of Empire Bay's Liquid Tones fans, or Tones as they call themselves, were out on a mission to get their hands on it. Yet another reason for parents to be aware of the evils of rock and roll. For Empire Bay's news leader, ECLA, I'm Gary Stevens. Stole a car, cool. Doing good in the new world, you guys saw nothing. I'm guessing this world hasn't changed for him. Vito! Hey, you break out of jail? Ah, oh, jeez. Good to see you in regular clothes and on the right side of the bars again. Welcome home. Come on in, come in, come in. Man, I tell you, lots changed since I went away. Yeah, I guess it has. And hey, it ain't much, but I hooked you up with a nice little apartment, just like you Thanks. said. Now I got a surprise for you. We're going out tonight to celebrate, and I'm going to introduce you to somebody. Yeah, sounds good to me. You're going to need a little cash so you can get things going again. I got a piece for you, too, if you want it. Ah, here. Always comes in handy. So, uh, what do you want to do now that you're a free man? Hey, what do you think? I want to go back to working with you again. All right. I was worried they might have turned you straight nah. in there. <laughs> I actually met a lot of people and learned a lot while I was on the inside. I had a much better idea of how things work now. Good thing. Because I wasn't exactly sitting around on my ass while you was in there. Don't worry, though. I'll show you the ropes, like always. All right. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's go. Jesus, I didn't expect you to be raring to go like this, but what the hell? Come on, let's go see your new place. We'll take my car and go meet your new landlord. You do the driving so as you can get back into the swing of things. Just hope you didn't forget how to drive while you was in the can. Hey, no, what are you worried about? It's like riding a bicycle. Sure, but when you smack up your bicycle, it don't cost a fortune to fix the friggin' thing. All right, all right, I get it. You're like an old lady. Yeah, I sure as hell hope so. And if you ain't noticed, cars are a lot different since you went away. You'll see. Your new place is just down the street, right near the boardwalk. You're gonna love it. All right, everybody, I'm gonna pause the episode right there. If you guys like the content that you're seeing and want to see more of it or want to show your love for the channel, just leave a like, comment, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll catch you on the next one. See you later.